Marley, our business correspondent. She's putting uh, all this market volatility into context right now. Marley? Yes, Adrian. Yesterday was the worst day for both the Dow and the Nasdaq since the beginning of the pandemic. Oddly, the day before that was the best day in that same time period. Investors are concerned about how high the Fed might raise rates over the next year to fight inflation, specifically how they'll affect corporate profits. Higher interest rates lower the appeal of tech and growth stocks because higher rates put pressure on their earnings. Because of this, risky assets like stocks become less attractive. That causes people to pull their money out of the markets. And while the market activity of the past two days has certainly been front page news, the drops we saw yesterday are nowhere near the worst we've seen. Back in 1929, the U.S. stock markets saw the worst drop in history. This crash abruptly ended the period known as the Roaring Twenties and was one of the catalysts of the Great Depression. Over this two-day period in October, the Dow fell close to 25 percent. For some perspective, the Dow fell just over 3 percent yesterday. Then we move forward to 1987. That's when we saw another major crash here. The government announced that we had a larger trade deficit than investors were expecting. The Dow fell 23 percent. Then we go to 2000. The dot-com bubble burst. The Nasdaq lost nearly a trillion dollars in a single month. This prompted the Fed to raise interest rates by a half percentage point. That was the last time that happened before this week. And then we all remember 2008. That was the housing market crash. Gave the Dow its largest single drop ever in a day period. And then, of course, the pandemic. On March 16th, 2020, the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P all fell between 12%. That brings us to now. Yes, billions of dollars were lost yesterday, and there is a lot of uncertainty in the markets, but it could be far worse than it is, Adrian. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.